must restore the balance. Go ahead, the boys Tandor here with an 11 turn guide to the legendary Realms of Chaos campaign with Yao Ming. Turn one, you want to attack them Skaven. You can auto resolve every battle other than the three I've manually resolved, but feel free to do it if you can do any better. Recruit two shooty boys, embed your hero, build the barracks up, and build a spice market. Research dragon scales for better jade crossbowmen. Send the lads on a holiday to Drakenhof. And then get your diplomacy on and get some trade agreements. Turn 2. Forcefully evict the Skaven at Shenwu. You can manually resolve it, but it's easier to auto resolve. Destroy the barracks. Upgrade to gem factors. Buy two shooty boys. And then level yourself up however you want. Turn 3. Scoot on over to the border of the City of Monkeys and recruit two Jade Warrior Crossbowmen. Recruit a Yin, Shigugan, Shigagan Lord, and globally recruit three Jade Warrior Crossbowmen. Do some family bonding with Cat Lady and the Celestial Loyalists. Build a Wares Market at Jian Wu, and then enter. Turn 4. Go Bananas! <laughs> And attack City of Monkeys. You can auto resolve it, but it's easy enough if you just do this. Set your archers up on the left, infantry in the middle, artillery on the right, and just fast forward. Upgrade Yen Wu and demolish the barracks. Get two more Jade Warrior crossbowmen in Xiao Ming's army and level up. And set the commandment to the recruitment one. Turn 5. Scoot on over towards Taizu and recruit three more Jade Warrior crossbowmen to the second army. Build a Wares Market in City of Monkeys. Set the Wuxing Compass to the Growth and then get diplomatic with the rest of Cathay. Recruit three more Jade Warrior crossbowmen to the second army and attack Taizu. Set up at the rear of the map and bait out the menace below's before you even start. You can hold Alt and right click on a unit to make it attack with melee. If you are struggling with the towers, use the Great Longma Riders to charge in. They do approximately a third of the health per charge. Just keep moving forward and taking things out until you win. Upgrade City of Monkeys, level yourself up. Merge the units. And do any diplomacy you can. Turn 7. Move Zhao Ming towards Shrine of the Alchemist and move the Second Lord towards Shang Yang. If you can, put them in ambush stance. If you can't, don't worry about it. Turn 8. Besiege Shang Yang. Continue the siege, and then attack the Shrine of the Alchemist. You're going to actually have to fight this battle, but it's not as hard as you think. Just deploy to the south and use your overwhelming missile superiority to whittle them down and eventually win. The lads have reached Drakenhof by now, so just dispense any levels to the caravan, your hero, Zhao Ming, and the secondary lord. Get a defensive alliance with Cat Lady and the Imperial Wardens. Build up Zhen Wu to merchant caravans and tea parlors. And then recruit two more peasant archers to Zhao Ming. When Shang Yang attack over the end turn, just run away. Send your secondary hero to the bottom of Shang Yang and send Zhao Ming to make the attack. Transfer some units, level up on your secondary lord, destroy the barracks, recruit two peasant archers, set your research, level up a little bit more, upgrade your buildings at City of Monkeys and Gen Wu, and build a public order building, then take whatever diplomatic treaties you can get. Turn 10. Move both lords to the edge of Shang Yang and Tower of Asher. Upgrade Shang Yang and build the income building. Bond some more with your sister and get a military alliance. 
get two more archers, and do any levels up that you need to do. If there are ogres there, move next to them before you declare war, then attack them. If not, just attack Batara for sure. 